Okay, so what if we wanted to go ahead and render one of these? So let's say I want to pick, uh, I'm going to pick this, uh, the center, the center wheel, and I'm going to do a sketch overlay. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in on this main image. I'm going to turn on my five axis symmetry again. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and start to draw the circle of that, of, of that uh, outer rim. Just try to get it as, keep it light till it's right. And you'll know it's circular because everything is starting to align itself on each end of the axis. Same thing for my tire profile. I'm starting to draw my spokes. I think I like this, this idea of a slightly directional. Okay, so uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, a graphic layer. I'm going to turn down the opacity a little bit. I'm going to use my uh, my inking brush. I'm just going to go ahead and add my uh, graphics. So th this would be the the, the sp sort of space between the spokes. So I'm going to do the same on the uh, tire. I'm going to capture my tire uh, pattern. Try to get it as circular as possible. Get it as close as I can. I'm going to turn both of these layers to full opacity. And then I'm going to just uh, grab the, the ring that I just created and just, just uh, move it into place here. Okay, so now I'm going to begin my rendering. And I'm going to be using uh, symmetry part of the time and symmetry uh, and a, I'll be turning symmetry on and off depending on which parts of the rendering I'm doing. Now I'm going to start with leaving the symmetry off and I'm going to render the dish of the rim. So uh, I'm going to use my, my large airbrush. I'm going to turn down the opacity a bit. I'm use a big airbrush and I, I want this thing to look like there's a bit of a dish uh, section to this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, grab my hard eraser. I'm just gonna break that edge a bit, give it kind of a reflective chrome quality. So the shape of the rim is is bowing in like this towards the center, but then it bends out just slightly at the end. Kind of like that. And then you have your tire section. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to leave symmetry turned off. I'm going to go ahead and start rendering the, the highlighted areas, the areas facing the sky. inking brush. Just highlighting those areas facing the light. As you can see the, the the top surfaces of those uh, spoke those inner spoke uh, the sides of the spokes those those surfaces facing the the light are are getting highlighted and then I'm going to add another layer and do the same do the opposite using a transparent black on the surface is facing downward away from the light. So you can start to see some of the dimension. I think what I'm gonna actually do is, is uh, add some additional shadow in the upper spokes as well. So now you can really start to see the depth 
I'm gonna add another layer and just take a lot more transparency out because I, I, I do want to try and break the break the edge here of the surface leading into the hole. So it's gonna get a little bit darker again. Now the wheel's really starting to have some dimension to it. What I'm gonna do is turn my symmetry layer back on, or my symmetry back on, add a new layer. Add some transparency. And with an airbrush, really try to get a sense of depth leading into those holes. You can see it's also having the effect of making this the spokes feel much much slimmer. Okay, so I'm almost done. I'm just going to add some finishing touches. Uh, I'm going to add a bit of uh, halo on the periphery of the tire. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to turn on my airbrush, go to a white uh, shader, use my circle tool, and I'm going to draw an airbrush circle. Okay. And I'm going to just size that up. Okay. But then I'm going to use my eraser and I'm going to fade out the bottom. I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to go back to black. I want to put a, a hard edge on that halo. So I'm going to use my circle tool along with my, uh, my inking brush. Draw another circle and I'm going to uh, shape that so that it just kisses the edge of that take that same halo layer, I'm going to uh, duplicate it, and I'm going to flip it this way. And then I'm going to shrink it so I have a little bit of a, of a highlight on the bottom of the tire. Just a little bit right there. Then I need to go in with a thinner brush and just uh, mark out the, uh, the bottom of that rim. Again, using my circle tool. Okay, I'm going to size that and place it. I actually don't normally do this, uh, sketching wheels by hand. Um, usually what I'll do is I'll just do a few thumbnail sketches and go right into 3D. Um, and that's something I'm going to demonstrate very soon in an upcoming demo. I'm just adding a bit of sheen and detail. And then one thing I might do just at, at the very end here, I'm gonna go back to my, uh, my dish layer. I'm gonna add a little bit of warm and cool to that. So a little bit of earth tone. And I'm gonna turn the opacity down a bit. Maybe a bit much still. and then a bit of sky tone. And see, because it's dished, the, the, it's the top surface of the rim that's, uh, because it's facing down towards the ground that gets the, the earth tone. That's just gonna give it a little, little hint of color. But, you know, that's how you can use uh, five axis symmetry in conjunction with no symmetry uh, to, to render a wheel.